So I wanted to record a quick video just on images, searching for images on the net, what you can and what you can't do and what decision you need to make in regard to them. Let's say we want to find some nice images of, uh, I don't know, a park bench. For example, we just go to Google and we Google park bench. Then we click through to images up here and we can see we have a whole bunch of different kinds of park benches. Now I must admit park benches are probably not so much as a, a copyrighted thing but we're looking for a good picture. Now when it comes to things for the web initially for your own website you want to start with a high quality image or at least a reasonable size. If you click on search tools you can then modify sizes and make them at least medium or perhaps large. I always like to look for large sizes. And then scrolling through these images that are here, here we go, maybe I'm doing this for a shop so I want ones that have a uh, a background and, and this is one that I might sell, I just don't have a picture of it myself. So I click on that and of course it opens it up a little bit wider, it's just downloading, you can see, that, see the image is still a little fuzzy, so it's just downloading at the moment and once that's loaded up we then have other options over here on the uh, the right hand side we can visit the page that it's from we can see the website we can look at the original image um, we can look at more sizes of the image and so on and of course there are these other related images if I click on any of those at the same time okay so let's say I want this particular image though well here's the thing this image belongs to these guys here so can I just right click and, and save that image? Well I could but I'm not so sure that's a good idea. This is what I've always done myself if I'm looking to use somebody else's copyrighted image. And yeah, that's what it is. I click on more sizes and I see how many of them there are that are out there. Now I can see this one's on barbecues galore. I look at this one and it's on uh, Tesco. Not even the same image, are they? So therefore, I wouldn't use this image because it's not out there in a million other places, which means it would be easy to prove where I got it from. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, this isn't grey area. This is, if you don't have your own images that you've paid license for, then you're going to go steal somebody else's. Well, then you go to a place like this. Notice this one here. It's got a watermark on it. That's because it's from one, two, three rf.com which is one of many different places where you can purchase your images online and a license which of course then are not watermarked now if I were to just over there on the right hand um, size uh, you can't quite see it from there but click on more sizes for that particular image you can see here if I just zoom this in a moment we can see this one's watermarked this one's watermarked same image from deposit files Here's another one from Deposit Photos. And then we have smaller sizes down there which are practically useless. So, if there was just one of these being used somewhere else, well, no, too easy to know where it came from. And <laughs> that's not a good idea. So when it comes to using other people's images, you need to find one that you can have a license to then also use. So I click on more sizes over there, streetfurniture.com, it's the only place using this image. There is no way you can copy and download this image without someone being able to prove where you got it from, which is their website. Not a good idea. So what you want to do very simply is come back here and just type in royalty free images and we're just in the images section at the moment there are bunches of them you can look around obviously we're looking for particular web sites so I might come to somewhere like Shutterstock for example I am a member at Shutterstock and here I will do my search for park bench click search and it's going to give me a whole bunch of different options and then depending on what I'm looking for depending on what size I want and so on I can click on say if this is the one that I want to put on my website you can see here obviously I can't use this it's got their thingy in the middle of it 
but I can get this one. I don't even need maximum the medium for for web usage. Maybe only the small one. Check with your uh, developer. Check with myself. And if I scroll all the way over here to the right hand side, I can't actually see what the price of this one is here at the moment, but it wouldn't be too much. I can then download that. There we go. All right. So in this particular case, I get five downloads for $49 Australian, or I can join on a monthly fee or whatever. You only ever need, if you're going to get five images, get them all. There are different packages on different places for getting royalty free images. I've used iStock Photo, I haven't used Getty in the past. Um, there are, you know, bunches of them. But that's the thing. If you're going to be using them for your web and you can't find an image which is just already being used by a hundred other people online, which pre means it probably is royalty free, or it's just been stolen a thousand times, then you want to come to somewhere like Shutterstock or iStock Photos, find the one you want, purchase the license for it. So $49 will get you five downloads. That would be enough and you could get five great quality, perfect images for your website. Okay, talk to you soon.